Crimson Trace has a great reputation with lasers. Let's see how they do with this budget red dot. Hey everyone, the Chang here with another product review. Please excuse the uh, scratchiness of my voice. It is allergy season here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Crimson Trace CTS-25. So this is uh, Crimson Trace's entry into, I would guess you would say the budget red dot optic market. It is roughly uh, around 70, 75, 80 dollars uh, MSRP, depending on where you buy it from. So this looks a lot like one of the Bushnells and you'll see a second as here as I get the package open um, that you might recognize it uh, and how similar it looks. So it does come with a riser that allows for co-witness or standard AR uh, height sights. Does come with an Allen key here for your attachment points and of course your owner's manual sticker and your cleaning cloth. It does feature one MOA clicks on the adjustments. Here you see the windage and uh, windage elevation, windage and elevation uh, adjustment points are uh, screw in caps so they're nice and secure. Does come with rubber caps and it uses a standard CR2032 battery. You can see that right there. And, and it is installed with a uh, piece of paper here to keep the battery from running down. So we're going to get that out and I'll show you what I'm going to install it on. Be right back. The bolts that you use to attach the site uh, are not Loctited and neither are the bolts used to attach the site to the base. So make sure you Loctite those before you put them on. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, lost a big segment of video that uh, showed me doing that, including putting witness marks on the gun. So uh, here's some footage that I found that did record and uh, you'll see what I'm doing here with tightening them up. All right, welcome back everybody. Back from the range. Got this zeroed to the uh, CMR here. Biggest complaint is the uh, the windage and elevation adjustments. When I take the cap off, the screw slot there, great clicks, really, really positive. The thing that I really don't like is the fact that notice there's no markings. There are also no markings inside the cap, no marking outside the cap. So uh, the uh, owner's manual doesn't tell you which direction is up or down. So I uh, had to jump on the internet to see what that was. Clockwise is on the left side, clockwise or on the side, the, the windage is left and clockwise up top is down. So if you're wondering what those are, if you turn it clockwise over here on the windage, you're doing going left, clockwise on the elevation, you're going down. Otherwise, I like the fact that you can turn this off. Um, varying brightness levels did have a little bit of weather out at the range, some, some clouds and some rain, uh, and then some sun. So uh, adjusting the, the brightness with these two was very very easy so so far so good for a 70 something dollar red dot perfect for something like uh, the 22 magnum here so i will probably include this on some of the builds that i do in the future for a budget red dot we'll see how they work on the ar on those we'll get some customer feedback and see uh, whether or not they like it so hopefully you found this interesting and helpful if you did 
please give us a thumbs up. Love to have you subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button over there. Uh, should be off to your right. And then there's a bell notification icon also off to the right there that will let you know be uh, let you know when we publish new content. Thanks again. Stay safe. We'll see you out on the range.